and ever wondered what mathematical problem could be worth a million dollars? Welcome to the world of the Millennium Prize Problems. These represent the zenith of mathematical conundrums. Seven unsolved problems, each holding the promise of a million dollar reward. Conceived by the Clay Mathematics Institute in the year 2000, these challenges invite the greatest minds to unlock their secrets. They span various branches of math, from number theory to topology, from algebraic geometry to quantum field theory. Each problem is a testament to the complexity and beauty of mathematics, a puzzle that pushes the boundaries of human understanding. And while they remain unsolved, they continue to inspire mathematicians across the globe. The allure of these problems lies not just in the hefty reward, but in the pursuit of knowledge, the thrill of discovery, and the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Let's dive into the world of these seven enigmas, starting with the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture. Imagine a world of elliptic curves and rational solutions. That's where the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture takes us. This conjecture, named after Brian Birch and Peter Swinnerton Dyer, is one of the seven Millennium Prize problems, and it delves into the complex world of number theory. It focuses on a special type of curve, known as an elliptic curve, and it deals with the rational solutions that these curves possess. The conjecture posits that if an elliptic curve has an infinite number of rational solutions, then certain conditions related to the curve's L-series must be met. The significance of this conjecture extends beyond pure mathematics. It has implications in cryptography, an essential component of internet security. Despite its importance, the Birch and Swinnerton Dyer conjecture remains unproven, adding to the allure of these captivating Millennium Prize problems. From elliptic curves, we move on to the intriguing Hodge conjecture. Algebraic cycles and cohomology classes, welcome to the Hodge conjecture. This perplexing mathematical riddle lies at the heart of algebraic geometry, a field that explores the intricate connections between shapes, numbers and spaces. Named after the British mathematician W.V.D. Hodge, the Hodge conjecture is a deep question about the nature of shapes and spaces that can be described by algebraic equations. It asks whether certain kinds of geometric shapes, called algebraic cycles, can be expressed in terms of more fundamental building blocks known as cohomology classes. The answer to this question could unlock new ways of understanding the structure of the universe, from the shape of space-time to the geometry of quantum fields. But for now, the Hodge conjecture remains an unsolved mystery, a tantalizing puzzle that continues to challenge even the most brilliant mathematical minds. As we leave the world of algebraic geometry, we plunge into the realm of physics with the Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness problem. Fluid dynamics might seem unrelated to mathematics, but the Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness problem tells a different story. In the realm of fluid flow, the Navier-Stokes equations are king. These equations, named after Claude Louis Navier and George Gabriel Stokes, describe how fluids behave. Now, the existence and smoothness problem is about whether solutions to these equations always exist, and if they do, whether those solutions are smooth and consistent. This might sound abstract, but it's incredibly important in both mathematics and physics. Understanding the nature of fluid flow has implications for predicting weather, designing aircraft, understanding ocean currents, and much more. Yet, despite the efforts of many brilliant mathematicians, this problem remains unsolved. It's a testament to the complexity and depth of the mathematical landscape. From fluid dynamics, we shift gears to the heart of computer science with the P versus NP problem. The P versus NP problem, a riddle that continues to baffle the brightest minds in computer science. This conundrum lies within the realm of computational complexity theory. It asks a fundamental question. If a solution to a problem can be verified quickly by a computer, can the problem itself also be solved quickly? In technical terms, if a problem belongs to the set NP or non-deterministic polynomial time, is it also in P or polynomial time? If P equals NP, it would mean that every problem with a solution that can be quickly checked can also be quickly solved. This could revolutionize fields like cryptography, data analysis, and more. However, if P is not equal to NP, it means that there are problems that are easy to check but hard to solve. The implications are vast and the solution remains elusive. Now, let us delve into the realm of prime numbers with the Riemann hypothesis. 
In the world of number theory, the Riemann hypothesis reigns supreme. This hypothesis, proposed by Bernhard Riemann in 1859, has to do with the distribution of prime numbers, those unique figures that can only be divided by one and themselves. Riemann hypothesized that the zeros or solutions of the Riemann zeta function, a complex mathematical function, have a certain pattern. This pattern, if proven, would reveal a fundamental secret about the distribution of prime numbers. This hypothesis has been a tantalizing enigma for mathematicians for over a century and a half. Despite its seemingly simple proposition, the Riemann hypothesis has proven to be incredibly elusive, resisting all attempts at a definitive proof. Its solution would not only revolutionize our understanding of prime numbers, but could also have far-reaching implications in cryptography, digital security and beyond. Leaving the world of numbers, we step into quantum field theory with the Yang-Mills existence and mass gap problem. The Yang-Mills existence and mass gap problem, a puzzle that delves into the nature of elementary particles. This enigma lies at the heart of quantum field theory, the mathematical framework that describes the behavior of the fundamental forces of nature. It's a challenge that explores the existence of Yang-Mills field, structures that are central to our understanding of the quantum world. But it doesn't stop there. The Yang-Mills problem also grapples with the concept of the mass gap. This refers to the difference in energy between a field's lowest quantum state and the next one up. It's a key component in explaining why particles have mass, a fundamental question in theoretical physics. So with its roots in the quantum realm, the Yang-Mills existence and mass gap problem presents a complex puzzle, one that remains at the forefront of mathematical physics. And finally, we come to the one problem that has been solved, the Poincaré conjecture. In a world of unsolved mysteries, the Poincaré conjecture stands as a beacon of achievement. This problem, proposed by French mathematician Henri Poincaré in 1900, involves a concept called topology. Often described as rubber sheet geometry, it's about the nature of three-dimensional shapes and their essential characteristics. The Poincaré conjecture asks a seemingly simple question. If a shape is three-dimensional and doesn't have any holes, is it essentially a sphere? For over a century, this question proved elusive until a reclusive Russian mathematician named Grigory Perlman provided a solution in 2002. Perlman's proof of the Poincaré conjecture was a monumental achievement, earning him the prestigious Fields Medal, though he declined it. His work has had profound implications for our understanding of three-dimensional spaces, and it continues to inspire mathematicians worldwide. With the Poincaré conjecture, we conclude our journey through the Millennium Prize problems. These seven problems represent the pinnacle of mathematical challenges. They are the Mount Everest of the mathematical world, a series of peaks that have yet to be conquered. Each problem from the enigma of elliptic curves in the Birch and Swinerton Dyer conjecture to the intriguing question of P versus NP in computer science represents a unique and profound challenge. They stand as testament to the complexities and mysteries of our universe, defying solutions and inviting the brightest minds to engage in their unravelling. These problems are not just mathematical puzzles, they are gateways to deeper understanding of the fundamental principles that govern our reality. The Hodge conjecture and the Riemann hypothesis pull us into the intricate world of algebraic cycles and prime numbers. The Navier-Stokes existence and smoothness problem plunges us into the realm of fluid dynamics, while the Yang-Mills existence and mass gap problem invites us to explore the quantum field theory and the nature of elementary particles. The Poincaré conjecture, the only one among these seven problems to be solved so far, stands as a beacon of hope and a testament to the tenacity and brilliance of the human mind. It reminds us that no problem is insurmountable and that with perseverance and ingenuity we can unravel the mysteries that these problems present. The Clay Mathematics Institute's million-dollar reward for each solved problem is not just prize, it's a call to action. It's an invitation to mathematicians worldwide to continue the pursuit of understanding, to continue the quest to unlock the fundamental mysteries of our universe. The journey to solve these problems is a journey into the heart of the unknown, a voyage of discovery that promises to expand our understanding and push the boundaries of human knowledge. It's a journey that we are all a part of as we live in a world shaped by the principles these problems explore. 
thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Millennium Prize problems. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the fascinating world of mathematics. Don't forget to like, share your thoughts in the comment section, and subscribe for more fascinating journeys into the world of mathematics.